In this video guide, I will show you this software called PhotoSketcher. And this is the 3.7 uh, version, and it's completely free. It's a freeware, open source. You can download it and install it for free. And I will show you how to do everything in a, just a bit. And as you can see here, it's just a simple software that gives you the possibility to turn any photo into a work of art like that. So it's uh, all inter um, artificial intelligence. You don't have to do anything, just insert a picture and turn it into a painting or a sketch or a drawing. And I will show you how to do that from the beginning. So first of all, we can search for PhotoSketcher and in any search engine like Google. And the first result here, you can open it up. You can download this from the official website, which is this PhotoSketcher. And it's already telling us that it's 100% free. And um, you can also download this from other uh, portals, other websites, but this is the official one, so we can get through here. And uh, this is the main page, and you will find many examples. Also, they have this interactive, like, uh, comparing tool, which is nice to show the picture and the uh, painting. And it, you can also work with uh, colors, giving more or less saturation, and you can work with luminosity and contrast. So you have kind of, uh, well, a small set of tools, but they are useful. And you can help the team here with a donation in PayPal or Patreon, and that's it. So if you want to see some examples, you can go into the gallery, and you can see also many types of drawing and painting that you can do with this software. Okay, now we can go directly to the download page right here and you can click here to download the full version and I already did that so you can already see the software downloaded right here version 3.7 so I will not download it again but you can do it and once you finish to download it should take really like uh, 5 minutes to download okay now once you do that you can double click directly on this uh, installer right here. And it's probably going to tell me that I have already installed this software. So, okay, you can also choose the language and you can go on like accepting all agreements, installing and whatever. So it's already there. So it, it's not letting me uh, install it unless I have to close everything. Okay, now everything's closed. I can click next and it's installing again. And it's also opening up this uh, um, like thank you page. Okay, so we can click here on finish and simultaneously launch PhotoSketcher. Or also we can just finish, close the installation and then you have the icon right here. This is the shortcut on your desktop. And also you can add this. If you don't find it, you can search for photo sketcher in your start me uh, menu right here. Okay, now let's click to open up the software. Really nice uh, introduction here. And again, it's pretty quick because it's a very small software. So it, it opens up pretty fast. And as you can see, it's not complicated at all. We have this uh, set of tools right here at the top. We have some zoom um, tools on the right side and uh, we don't have anything at the bottom and we have also have these drop down menus where, that you can use to open up image save an image print and you know the basic commands also you can like rotate the picture uh, i i'm just i just realized that this is in italian so pretty quick, I'm gonna show you where you can change the language if it's not in your language you can go here which is help and select language and I can switch here in many languages and for you guys I will do this in English so now you can see all the commands in English and hopefully you can understand most of these now you, we can see this photo sketcher like a really small Photoshop where we can do just a little bit of the modification and editing that we can do in Photoshop and of course we can turn our photo into a 
uh, an artwork or a, a drawing and that's similar to Photoshop filters. Well, I have to say that some of these uh, results are really amazing and are really much, much better than Photoshopping. Now, I need some picture to show you and I, I'm looking for something like uh, someone drawing or someone painting and this is uh, called unsplash.com and you can uh, download the pictures from here so totally free and you can use them for anything you want so I will just find a nice picture here that I like and then we will bring this into photo sketcher to create a painting okay now this looks pretty nice it's done by Bruce Martz and I can download it in many different uh, resolution, so small, medium, large. In this case, I don't want it too big because I want to apply filters uh, pretty quick. And here we, we can see also other um, pictures from or photos from Bruce Martz. And thank you. And once you download it, you can open it up with a uh, editing tool, even with the the Windows viewer, and you can already cut this uh, only the part that you want and you can do this uh, using uh, Windows or you can use any other uh, photo editing tool that you have so I'm gonna save this well I don't want to modify this just to show you that you can use a combination of tools so I'm just gonna close this and I will go inside photo sketcher again and do file open a picture and there we go. So this is the one that I just downloaded and open it. Okay. So now it's already giving me this panel, which is the uh, drawing parameters. And if I click on this arrow here, I can see that I have many different styles. So uh, we have like sketch effects, and pen and ink, painting, stylized like pixelated effect abstract and other effects that you can see and maybe in the future they will add more and more uh, so let me take one of these for example let's get the first uh, I like this one the second black and white pencil sketch and now we have to wait a little bit so we can see the results and here we have like a zoom so we can see the preview down here and if you want to see it directly we can click on draw okay so if I add a smaller picture here I will probably see the, uh, the changes already here in the screen but in this case I have to use the preview and then I can see the results and when the results are applied I can now start to manipulate these uh, parameters so the, the different will be again displayed right here as a preview and then again I have to apply it and I have to wait for this yellow line down at the bottom to finish and you can see that it has changed a little bit now let's change again let's uh, set this uh, watercolor okay now it has changed it again there you go oh. now let's try oil pastel and again start to mess around with these parameters you just have to experiment a little bit and uh, you can check the preview down there you can see if it's going the, the, the direction that you want to go and you can also use this soften edge you can add a frame uh, a margin uh, yeah, let's put some realistic frame here you have some tools you know and just have to try you can add also a text and let's put this in the bottom right photo sketcher okay that's fine Th there it is it's kind of a you're applying a logo or something like that and manual brush you can change this like that Okay, well, I'm just messing around and then you click draw to see the results and this is again another result with this realistic frame okay and 
now let's try another one again I believe one of my favorite is this one kind of a cubistic uh, result and again mess around look at that really abstract results just have to wait okay now let's do this there we go pretty big strokes there all right like I don't know Cezanne or Picasso something like that and while it does that you have to wait the more complex is the calculation the more you have to wait this yellow line tells you the percentage of the artificial intelligence calculation here okay now while it finishes let me show you something else also this toolbar is pretty useful you can open it a picture you can save it you can paste it you can go back and forward with these arrows you can also crop as we cropped this into the previous application from windows and you can change the uh, the luminosity and contrast and other stuff and again this is the the panel for the drawing that you already seen from the beginning and this is the text that again we already seen that so you don't really have many uh, tools to use just a little set of uh, of instruments that will get you where you want to go and okay so i think this is pretty pretty understood and I want to show you also this one so here you can change again luminosity contrast you have again a preview here and this is gonna affect the source and saturation this can go black and white or you can uh, have more co uh, strong colors you can sharpen and blur so really easy uh, editing there you go so you can see the source has changed but also the, the final result of my painting will change as well because I've changed the source and I think this is basically it uh, well I would just uh, tell you about the um, the navigation so you can click with your left mouse and pan around and you can scroll the wheel and you can zoom a little bit so you can see better like the original and the result there okay so I think this is uh, a pretty easy and uh, easy to use and fast to learn software so you just give it a try and mess around you can really enjoy yourself it's pretty entertaining but also you can use this for some uh, work purposes maybe in some of your jobs you you would need uh, pretty easy and free software like this so if you like the video please subscribe to our youtube channel which is uh, jbdtube and you can search for this channel like that okay and so you can subscribe and stay updated on our video guides and video courses if you have more if you want to have more complex video courses you can search for them in the playlist page go to English video courses and you will find many video courses on English uh, software and you can support us through, through the community and the store and this is it thank you for watching and see you in the next video